this lesson, we're going to learn all about the IELTS and let's start with what does the IELTS stand for? IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System. This is an English language proficiency test for non-native English language speakers who are looking to work, study, or migrate abroad. This test assesses your ability to understand English by testing the four communicative skills, which are your reading, listening, speaking, and writing. So now let's look at the different types of IELTS. There are two different types of IELTS. You have IELTS Academic and IELTS General. IELTS Academic is suitable for those who are looking to pursue their further studies abroad, whereas IELTS General is for those who are looking to work or migrate abroad. There are also two ways that you can take the IELTS. There's paper-based and there's the online test. Paper-based, as it sounds, you have to take it with either a pen or preferably an HP pencil. All four tests take place face-to-face -face, and also for this one, the listening section lasts a little longer. Now, as we go on, we'll discuss why that is. For the online test, as it sounds, it takes place online on a computer. For the online test, the listening, reading, and writing is conducted on the computer, whereas the speaking is done face-to-face. -face. If you're taking the IELTS from home, the speaking test will be done virtually. And last but not least, the listening section of the IELTS, if you're taking the online test, takes a little less time. Now, let's go on to discuss the results. For the paper-based test, you will receive your results 13 days from the test date. So, for example, if you take the test on July 20th, then you will receive your results 13 days from July 20th. Whereas for the online test, again, if you take it on July 20th, you will receive it three to five days after that date. All right. So here, if you take the online test, you will receive your results faster. Now, as we discussed earlier, that this test assesses your four communicative skills, again, listening, reading, writing and speaking. Those are actually what the modules are in the IELTS exam. So let's look at it in more detail. First up, the listening section. The listening section lasts for 30 minutes. Now, if you're taking the paper-based test of the listening section, you will have an extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers. Now, we will look at that in more detail in a minute. The listening test comprises of four parts or four recordings that you will hear in the 30 minutes, and you will have to write down your answers on the answer sheet. There are also 40 questions that you need to answer. For this section, you will be provided an answer sheet. Now let's go back and talk about the 10 minutes extra that you have to transfer your answers. Again, this extra 10 minutes is called transfer time. So what happens is when you're listening to the recordings, you may not have enough time to directly write your answers down on the answer sheet. You will write them down on your question paper. So that extra 10 minutes is for you to transfer the answers that you've written on your question paper to your answer sheet. Now, this is why we said that the paper-based test lasts a little longer because you have that 10 minute transfer time. Whereas for the online test, you will probably only have two minutes towards the end to verify and check your answers. Now let's move on to the reading section. For the reading section, you have one hour to complete 40 questions and you'll have three passages that you need to go through. Here also, you will have an answer sheet that is provided where you will write all your answers down. The speaking section has three parts. So part one is called the introduction and interview, where the examiner will just be asking for your ID and just asking you a couple of questions that are familiar to you, like where's your hometown or what do you do? Are you working or studying? Questions like that, familiar questions. So part two is termed as the long term, where it can last anywhere between three to five minutes. You'll be given a cue card. From there, you will have one minute to prepare on the topic given to you, and you will have to speak for two minutes continuously without interruption from the examiner about that topic. You will be able to make notes and you can use those notes while you're speaking. And last but not least, part three, which is termed as the discussion, you will have a candid conversation with the examiner about the previous topic that was given to you in part two, and it would be a little bit more abstract, and you will just be discussing for another four to five minutes on that topic. And the final section we have for the IELTS exam is the writing section. Now this section lasts for one hour and you'll have to complete two tasks in that one hour. For task one, you'll be asked to describe some data. This data will be presented in some sort of visual form like a graph or a chart, and you will have to summarize that in 150 words. For task two, you will have to respond to a point of view, an argument, or a problem. You are required to complete task two in 250 words. Let's do a quick recap of this lesson. We looked at what the IELTS stands for, who it's for, where you can take the different types of IELTS, and the different modules. 
Next lesson, we'll be looking at the scoring and assessment.